Are you emotionally prepared for some more inside? No, but we're going to keep doing it. Oh, good. Fandom Arcade! Ready? Start! Welcome back to Fandom Arcade. Uh, little cool Steven here is lifting up grates. Dan, how are you? In, I haven't checked in with you about how, you, how you're liking this game so far. Are you? Uh, I would have to say, um... Ah, yeah. Uh-oh. That's... That's not okay. That's not, I mean, that's not what you want. Um, so I would have to say, uh, definitely liking the game. Um, nice. Uh, my biggest concern with um, uh, indie side scrollers uh -huh. is um, they usually do. You know, most of the time they do a very good job. However, uh, I do have concerns of uh, monotony Are sometimes. You standing? I think you're standing. Oh on. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Up, oh, still am. Yep. Uh, I do have concerns with monotony sometimes, and this game has been really good about not do taking that route. Yeah, uh, I think you only ever see, like, a repeated element maybe, like, once. Oh, go back up. Ah! Okay, I think the timing was off, but I think you need to go down, hit the button, go back up, and then bait it over back to the left. I think you're right. And then hit the button as you go through. Yep. Which would be a repeated element from before, where you hit the button to yep. close the close the gate. But it's presented in a different way. So that's the thing, is like any element that is repeated is repeated in a different fashion. Uh, which I think really, really helps with uh, how awesome this game is. It's so creepy, just like the hands coming oh, out God. of the water. It does make me want to watch <laughs> horror movies, though. Which is, is why we were playing it for Spookytober. Which at this recording, when this goes up on YouTube, it will be after Spookytober. But also, Spookytober is currently happening as we're recording. Because is. Because uh, time is weird and wibbly wobbly. Don't crush me. <laughs> Don't go crushing waterfalls. Bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> oh. Hold on, I gotta I gotta air up. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta oxygenate oxygenate all my blood cells. No, um so one of the things that uh just playing this makes me want to watch just because we were talking about it a few episodes ago. Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen the original Ringu or Grudge in a while, and I actually could watch those again. Yeah. Um but Ooh. also oh, Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Dan. Um This is how we go. This is how this is how we go. Uh it's a little prolonged. Yeah. You know what? I'm okay with that. I feel fine. Let's have a seven. Uh, yeah, seven it's a <laughs> tank. There we go. Mmm. Oversized bottle of water. Tumbler. So so Dan, uh, what did we learn? <laughs> what? Yeah, what did you learn from this experience? Uh, that death comes for us all. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also that uh, little uh, little glowy lights are good. I mean, that's that's a good time. So I think that uh, that that Ringo mermaid just uh, plugged you into a thing. I do believe I've been plugged in. Uh huh. Are you now in the Matrix? Uh yeah. Gonna uh, hack the uh, hack hack. You're gonna hack the mainframe. And now the fish, my fish friends, will bring me back to life. Yeah. Hack well, Dan, you got you got plugged into the Matrix, so now now you can move like they do. Like how the fishes do. Mm -hmm. This is a really prolonged experience. It's very weird. And also, what is that glowing? Is that a safe glowing? Is that are a those bad VHS glow? tapes? Those are. Oh my god. Ask your parents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that just goes to show you, like, oh shit, what a what a wreckage. This. uh... Oh, what is that in the foreground? I don't know, but it's like I, a body tied to something. I like Ooh, it. That's creepy. Wait a minute. So your fi your fish buddies are following you. Wait a minute. 
You uh, you can now breathe underwater, Dan. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jacked into the matrix. That's why I said you can move like they do. You're doing it, Peter. It's almost like those weird Ringu mermaids were like you. Like little underwater boys with really long hair. Evan, that's absurd. Little underwater boys don't have long hair. I mean, hair grows. Does oh, it? Oh my Wait. god, you're so naive. I am. I'm very naive. Dan, educate me in the ways of the world. <laughs> I'm exceedingly stupid. Please tell me. Yeah, by all means. See, now, yeah, now it's just, uh, you're, uh, you're Aquaman now. Yep, you're everything I've wanted, to, I've ever wanted to be. Well, I would love to be Aquaman. BT dubs. I would love to be the Green Lantern. BT dub. On on the subject, genie wishes. We were talking about that a couple episodes oh, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you given it any thought? Three wishes from a genie. Uh, yep. to remove my sense of remorse, to have Green Lantern abilities. Uh huh. <laughs> no, actually, I like having a sense of remorse. I was gonna say, like, that seems pretty. Um. Yeah, I see it. Yes. Um, Creepy. Gr uh, so Green Lantern ability. You know, it's funny. You say Green Lantern abilities, and uh -huh. then all of a sudden, it kind of seems like uh, it's like, why do I have any other? Wi oh, infinite uh, battery power. There we go. It, it's funny that you mentioned that because that actually is kind of one of mine as well. So okay, so so you've got uh, infinite, infinite Green Lantern ring. Mm -hmm. What else? That's one wish. Mm hmm. While you think about that, uh, Legend of Darby on our Twitch chat says that uh, our cool Steven buddy here looks more like Garth from Teen Titans Aqualad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah, red shirt. Yeah. Wait, is it red? Yep. Yeah, he had red, yep. red top. Red shirt. Yep. It was red. Uh, yep. I think he had like silver accents, but blue pants as well. Also, yes, uh, confirmed. Legend of Darby. Gray skin, black hair, red shirt, blue pants. Absolutely, Garth. Oh my god, I wonder if they actually based him off of Garth. I always thought he can't, th that this kid uh, looked a lot like, um, I think we mentioned it in a previous episode, he looked like uh, Billy Batson. Billy Batson, yeah, yep. we totally did, I remember that. Mm -hmm. So you got this down, you know to wait. <laughs> Also, that's really creepy that it gets you so very close to the spinning blade. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is a really cool mechanic. Yeah, the visuals are great. Yeah, I like that they establish, like, the importance of needing to, like, like maintain your oxygen supply and everything. And then they're like, you know what? And then what? throw it out the window. The thing, the thing that you've wanted for so long, we're finally going to give it to you. And then they do, which is awesome. I like it when people make good on their promises. Exactly. Like the parents. Yep. The parents that we need. And uh, for further clarification, and uh, Legend of Darby on our Twitch chat brought this up, uh, to clarify... Oh. Ah! Yeah, I gotta look out for lights. Um, to clarify, uh, uh, Aqualad from Teen Titans, the comic, the first... The first Aqualad, um, not the more recent uh, Young Justice. Young Justice, which I love, Aqualad and Young oh, what's Justice. His, I'm trying to remember his name. I can't remember his name. I just love Young uh, Young Justice. It was so good. I love. So I love. I loved good. it. As, I loved it as well. well. I just can't remember Aqualad's actual name. He was uh, son of Black Manta. Oh, that was a bad. I idea. remember that. that was a bad idea. But I can't remember his bad actual idea. name. I've had bad ideas, Evan. Evan, I'm that, Mr. Bad a, Idea. Yep, that's one of them. To get you, yep, got you in the ankle. Uh, I think also something ankle I, grabbing. Uh, one of the things that I really liked about um, Young Justice was just the fact that in season one to season two, mm -hmm. they just skip right ahead, and Dick Grayson has become Nightwing. Oh yeah. Well, I I also and like that, and I like that Tim Drake has come in. Yep. And uh, I'm trying to think. It's been I haven't done a rewatch of that one. I've only ever watched it through once. Um, yep, gotta go. Yep. But now you know what the mechanic of the, the little wheel there is. Um, 
Uh, that's nope. Yeah, you're SOL. Doesn't mean I'm gonna ever stop running. That's fine. Uh. God, I go limp. Yeah, it's, it's it's man. So many of the elements of like these death scenes are really unsettling. Not Laura Croft Tomb Raider unsettling. You mean Tomb Raider reboot? Uh, yeah. Which is just like, how many times can you get impaled and have it look really, really, really real? Yeah, like, how many times can you watch a wooden spike jutting through Lara Croft's neck as she's gasping for breath? Okay, this is actually kind of weird, because I can't seem to be able to move it anymore. What do you mean? Other than just uh, a couple of degrees back and forth. You can't keep rotating it in one direction? No, it doesn't seem like... I believe you should be able to. That's that? Uh-huh. No, you, you can keep you can keep moving it forward. That's that's what this puzzle is. Yeah. So puzzle puzzles in this game, difficulty wise. There you go, see? Um how how doth it how doth it strike you? Yeah. So, physics, uh, the higher that thing goes, the more dramatic an angle a shadow mm -hmm. it's going to cast. So right now, like, it's relatively low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shadow itself doesn't move very much left to right. Got it. As it goes up higher, it's going to move very drastically. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking through it. Ooh, doggy. I think you could have made it, but I guarantee, I, so. I guarantee you, I would not have done that. I, w I would have, I would have done absolutely what you just did. Yeah. Oh, look out! Hey! Yeah, I was like, oh no, no, Dan! I got shot in the skull. Yeah, I was like. It's like now is not the time. You are literally like exposing yourself. Now as you is turn not the it. time for uh, no heroics. Ooh, and we got a uh, we got an answer. Uh, Black Manta's son, who was Calderam. The, yep, Calderam or Calder. Yeah, well, I remember they called him Calder on the show. But uh, I love what they did with the kind of the revamp of Beast Boy's origin mm -hmm. as well. Oh, I was a big fan. Yeah, uh, definitely different, but I thought it actually made more sense. Like, I thought it, aesthetically it uh, it worked. It worked for me. I no, no, it. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. Um, and I loved, um, I I loved uh, Miss Martian was I'm a, awesome. Oh, hello, Megan. Right? <laughs> what was it? Uh do does she say Odoe or something? She like, just duh, says, Megan. No, she or, just says, hello, Megan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hello, because she gets hello, it from Megan. the show, from hello, that, Megan. Yeah, from that sitcom, which is adorable. Yeah, I thought that whole, uh, the whole arc between, like, her and Superboy's relationship was really interesting. Oh, look at, oh, yeah. Um, and I like that when they did that, like, between seasons jump, Mm -hmm. How it just kind of went like, something happened between the two of them, and they're not okay anymore. And we ain't talking about it. Yep. I thought that was really interesting. Which also, by the way, just as we have been discussing, yeah. if you have not seen Young Justice, get on Netflix. Absolutely, yeah. Jump into Young Justice. I'll probably do that this evening, now that we're talking about it. Well, I was going to say, because I know I'm going to be talking about it more. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, and I love when they did... Uh, Blue Beetle too. big fan. Yep, Blue Beetle. Also good. Um, I mean, you know me. I'm a classic Blue Beetle and Booster Gold fan. But, um, yeah, I just remember um, when they did the relationship between Superboy and Miss Martian, how it was almost like Miss Martian was ashamed that she was a white Martian. Yep. And that she's like, I'm a hideous monster. I'm a hideous alien monster. And even in, like, white Martian form, Superboy's like, whatever, you're beautiful and I love you, and I'm an alien too. We both look different from each other. I just, I loved that sense of acceptance. Mm -hmm. Especially from Superboy, who started out very antagonist, 
tactically as a hero. He was a jerk. He was a big old jerk. He was a big old dumb jerk. Yeah. No, I thought it was great. Uh, the one thing I can never, you know, I thought it was such a good storytelling mechanic. Mm -hmm. The one thing I can never look over, though, just because of the Seneca that I am. Yeah. It's, of course, it's like, I'm a Martian, too. I just happen to look like a gorgeous male. Yeah. It's like, I'm an alien, too, but, uh, you know, I look human and more than that, extremely handsome for a human. But I get it. <laughs> but I totally get it. We're both aliens. It's totally fine. We could be aliens together. Yeah. Man, yeah, it's like, uh, agree, okay, I uh, mean, like, you know. you're trying to help, and that's good, but, yeah. like, let's not go crazy. Yep. Huh. Oh, I get it. Sorry. I, I saw I saw where the puzzle was going, and I'm like, I, I get it. I don't. So, you need to use that thing over to the left, but you need to knock it off of its, uh, the platform it's currently on. What thing to the left? So it's currently on that metal track, right? But yeah. if you hit that button, what happens? That. So go ahead and hit it again. Hit the button again. And then as it shoots up, yeah, yeah. knock it off the track. Uh. Aha! Oh. <laughs> <Didn't I? laughs> that actually looked really funny. Like, that was so perfectly timed. Yeah. There you go. Yes! Fuck you! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Suck it, science. Yeah, this game rarely gives you an opportunity to just, like, smack something, so that's a lot of fun. And... Ooh! Slanted floor. Oh, yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, it's a little <laughs> late now, but I got it. You have the idea. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> worth it. That was actually a lot of fun. Totally worth it. I'm guessing there's probably an animation for if that thing lands on you. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking there is too, and yeah. there was this part of me that like... I was like, I kind of want to see it! But at the same time, we're, we're, on a, like... we're on a budget. Yeah, we're, we're a girl on a budget. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Nice. Dude, I know, I know you were... Uh, I mean, we've previously been talking about, like... I don't want to backseat drive through a lot of the puzzles and stuff, but I want to say that I think you're doing a kick-ass job. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Skynet. So, the water... Is upside down. Yeah. I mean, does that strike you as normal? It doesn't for you. Sometimes I forget what a sheltered life you've led. Uh, you know what? You bring up an excellent point. Wait, we grew up in the same town. We grew up... Okay. You grew up in the tourist trap of Mendocino. I grew up in the fishing village of Albion. What are you talking about? I didn't grow up in the tourist village. I was closer to Little River than anywhere else. Here we are. Just... Born to be kings. <laughs> we are the princes of the universe. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, no By the way... No matter how many times we try to escape our fate. I will give a thumbs up to the first person who posts the entire, all the lyrics for Prince of the Universe in our Twitch chat. Why? Because if someone does that, they deserve a thumbs up. Ah, uh, you bring up a fair point. So now it's a race to see who A, cares enough to, and B, does it first. You know what? For, for, for whoever's watching right now live on Twitch, I bet you're going to do it first. I believe in you. I think you can do it. So, I, th uh, yep, I think you need to shoot that thing up there and then close it off. And then get back yeah, up there a different way. I think way. you're right. Uh, yeah, just playing it safe. Yeah, I was like, I think it might still go up, but better not to leave things to chance. There you go. Nailed it. I am and you know, you know what we nailed? Doing an extra doubly long episode of Phantom Arcade. So we'll catch you again tomorrow where we'll have normal length episodes.